Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys uh, my seedling project that's going on this year for dahlias. Uh, cause I just spotted the first buds on one of these guys. So, so I might be seeing, getting to see what, uh, what surprises and mysteries these guys have in store for me. Like really soon, I would say probably in two weeks, these buds might open up. In fact, I think I'll just bud it here. Let me show you. Okay. So this is my seedling bed. And usually this row right here is how many plants seedlings I grow okay I've never had more than just this row and there's like two plants two plants two plants two plants like it's all and they're in they're in their cups planted I just buried the cups right into the ground okay so that usually holds up to 30 plants but look this entire bed is full and actually I still have another entire crate of them that I'm going to be planting today in the back field because I don't have any more room here so I don't know three oh wait that's only half a row because that baptiste is there three six nine twelve fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen I don't know I have um I'm gonna guess close to 300 dahlia seedlings in here all of them are ones that I got from my own beds last year, except for there's some Florat ones here. I wanted to try the Florat ones. I'll never be able to buy tubers from her without it being stupid expensive and the whole shipping across borders from US to Canada. So I was like, why not get some seeds? But right there, look how dark that one is right there. I don't have any other that are d that dark. So that's actually really cool to see the genetic traits of the leaf colors and those are the buds right there that I just spotted and I was like "Ooh, I'm, I might have dahlias soon I have not pinched any of these I don't want to pinch them because I want them to flower right away so that if it's something I don't like like it has bad genetics I'll like just pull it and throw it out because they're also they're also squished in there uh, that they could be fighting for water and nutrients and stuff. So if one blooms and I'm like, oh, that's an, she ugly. She, I just, we're not, nah, we don't, we don't need this one. I'll pull it out. And uh, a lot, that allows for there to be more water and nutrients for the other ones that are still growing. Um, but yeah, that's pretty cool and exciting. One thing I'm going to do. All right. Sorry, my back is really messed up. So this takes me a while to bend down. Oh. Um, I'm going to cut, take, I'll probably take, uh, leave that big bud and pinch the little tiny one there. That way the plant can put more energy into the big one. Um, which will, which is, yeah, that's what I usually do. I wonder if I can, here, one second. So I was just, I needed two hands to find the tag. But this guy is from uh, Totally Tangerine, and it germinated on day three. Oh, yeah. I should, uh, I don't know. I hope that label holds out. It looks like it's already getting pretty faded. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I don't know. Popsicle sticks and Sharpies. That's usually what I do. Um, and Totally Tangerine was in a bed of other anemones, like Platinum Blonde, uh, poodle skirt, mambo, and polka. So I'm really curious to see like the genetics that come out from that bed of anemones that I had. Uh, that's going to be really cool. And then any seeds, I kept my anemone bed in a totally different plot. All the rest of my seeds were uh, for doubles were grown elsewhere, so nothing would cross pollinate. So I'm hoping I get some really interesting dahlias. Uh, Dahlia Christmas is going to happen in about a month, and it's going to be so overwhelming with all of these seedlings. I'm going to have so many new flowers that I'm, yeah. Dahlia Christmas is going to be huge, the biggest Dahlia Christmas ever, 2024. Mm-hmm. I'm pumped. It's coming. I'm coming. It's coming. <laughs> I just got to the farm and I spotted the first Dahlia seedling. Take a look. Let's see. Oh, 
cute. It's a single, but I guess uh, it was going to be a single, but. <laughs> oh, that's so exciting. First day of Dahlia Christmas is today. And everything else is doing really well. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, oh yeah, I'm starting to see lots of buds now. I'm going to take these little side buds off. My dark colored Dahlia is doing great. Oh, there's more buds here. Yay. Can't wait to see these guys. Okay, Dolly at Christmas again today. Um, okay, let's look at these together because I haven't really seen them yet, but I can tell that there's a whole bunch. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So, all right, this one, I've been waiting for it to open. Oh, this is gonna be hard with one hand to get these stupid bags off. Okay, I really like the color. Don't like the open center. Very cute color though, dang. Um, interesting to see who the parent, seed parent is for this guy. Come on there. Mm, he was probably ready a couple days ago. Oh my gosh, I don't know, we had so much rain. Oh well, it's only first bloom. I'll see what else comes from it. Either way, that would look really cute in bouquets this year. Oh, the dark one has not bloomed yet, but it's getting close. Wow, I bet I can tell who the parent plant is of this guy. Uh, looks like a mambo or a rock star or something, but look how long. The petals are a lot longer on this one. Cute. Oh, hello, girly. You're cute. Hmm. And there's a couple over here. Some singles. <sighs> singles. Not looking the greatest. Meh. They're okay. They're okay. What's this? Anemone. Oh! oh, this one's cute. It's like orange with some pink streaked in it at the tips uh, I got this guy here um, got some of these little guys down here some more singles with the big centers that's okay though very fun I got more about to open so I'll keep you guys updated on the seedling patch